T-minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. We have... This is, this is a very important experiment. I mean, it's not just a toy. This will affect future missions as well. With a system like this, we can get cold, we can still operate, we can go further into space, farther away from the sun, and do more important things. It's going to fit on a rocket in basically a little tiny box, and the rocket will be launching some very expensive big satellite. And we're along for the ride. My name is James Flynn. I'm a part-time professor here at California State University, Northridge. And the CubeSat project is a, a, a real live experiment. The JPL wants to test a low temperature power storage system. Uh, hi, my name is Carl Chesko. I'm a senior electrical engineering student here at CSUN. Uh, well, my name is Natalia Alonzo, and I am from Miami, Florida originally. I am a student at Cal State University Northridge, and my major is computer science. My name is Todd Hurst. I am an electrical engineering major from Sherman Oaks, California. So this semester I'm leading the ground station team for the CubeSat project. Uh, basically what that means is uh, the satellite's going to orbit in space, but we need equipment here on the ground in order to communicate with the satellite. So we have an antenna system that's up on the roof of our building. Uh, a pass as the satellite goes overhead only takes about 12 minutes. It's only actual overhead for about 12 minutes. And what you see on the laptop is the software that we actually use to command and control the satellite. The neat thing about all of this right now is that it's all hooked up and working. And all we have to do is make this work over a distance of about a, just a thousand miles and we'll be fine. Well, we are responsible for the embedded system that will be running the satellite when it's in orbit. I've been tasked with designing a printed circuit board layout for a circuit design. Our students are basically working with the JPL. They're the engineers. We have to report on our work. They've gone over to the JPL and given presentations. They get an enormous amount of exposure. The biggest problem, and I think everyone would agree, was the learning curve required for not only learning the hardware stuff, but also learning how to use the software and the particular boards that we have to test with. Getting all that to work, first of all, on our computers was crazy. I've been spending almost an entire semester just arranging the circuit schematic and then translating that into a functioning PCB. Um, we've had students learn lots and lots on this project. We've learned lots and lots on this project. It's always fun to work with people that are good at what they do, and this team is full of those people. 